This is my aquarium for the Nintendo Wii. I'll bet you're surprised to see this getting reviewed by Classic Game Room, but I thought this game would be a bit like Seaman, the legendary game for the Sega Dreamcast, where you could threaten the fish and they would talk back to you and then you could deprive them of food. But that would be a different game. That would be my bloody aquarium. This is just my aquarium. This is a peaceful and relaxing aquarium simulator that I downloaded for $5. And I'll explain more about my aquarium, however, after this review, make sure to watch Classic Game Room Reviews Seaman. S-E-A-M-A-N. One of our proudest moments from the original series. My aquarium is actually quite interesting and would be a really cool game for kids or a cool family game that you could play together with your kids. Or if you're just really into fish and want an aquarium but don't want to put up with the hassle of maintaining an actual aquarium. because. I can tell you from experience, I've had an aquarium. Owning a dog is a hundred times easier than keeping an aquarium. Because you basically need a chemical engineering degree and an incredible amount of patience to keep fish alive. And I love fish, they look nice, and you know, it's a lot of fun for the 20 minutes that you're not cleaning shit out of the aquarium. In my aquarium, you just deal with the fun parts of owning an aquarium. You drop nice looking fish into it, and then you watch them, and occasionally you feed them. You start the game with about 10 or 12 fish, they're all different, they're all kind of neat. You can combine saltwater and freshwater fish, it's not that realistic. There's a whole bunch of unlockable fish in the game. And it's somewhat abstract as to how to unlock them. I've unlocked one so far. They, they just seem to unlock over time if you feed your fish and take care of them. And you can Google that online and read all the all, all about the unlockable fish and, and the list of fish. There's no great white shark. There's no half man, half sea creature. There's no ultra-hot blonde mermaid who also played a replicant in Blade Runner who turns into a real woman, moves into your apartment, and then you can have wacky adventures with throughout New York City until she's captured by the military. And I was hoping for electric eels, but uh, alas, none of them either. You can get rocks and driftwood and plants to fill your aquarium with. The controls for inserting the background objects are very clumsy and that's my biggest complaint about the game they could have done a much better job with how you lay out your aquarium but for what this is it's actually pretty good it's basically background entertainment it's not a video game per se you don't really get into it and play it if you really like fish and want an aquarium it is kind of cool to be able to check up on your fish every day they are supposed to breed if you have two or three of the same fish in there i guess they can you know, get, get busy behind the rocks. And you can also trade most of the fish amongst your friends. And see, that's where the game would be a lot more fun because you could trade your friend a clownfish and they could trade you back a hungry piranha. I forgot to mention you can tap on the glass and most of the fish do a little dance for you. The game comes with a number of synth classical piano tracks that you can put on random and play in the background. I, I added this music. And that's my aquarium. When you watch your aquarium, the way it works is it shows you a wide shot for the most part and then it'll cycle through some close-ups of your different fish. Or you can also click with the Wii Remote on your fish and get a close-up of each of them, see how they're doing. It's kind of neat. I think this would be a pretty cool game for kids. If you want something a little more destructive, you get Seaman.